who are the bad guys, who are the hackers. Um, it's important to understand them. If you don't know your enemy um, and you don't know what their motives, uh, their motivations are, what their risk tolerance are, what are they willing to risk in order to uh, get what you have, if you don't know the tools that they're typically going to use to try to attack you, uh, you're at a disadvantage and try to defend against them. It's stressful. It's a lot going into college without ever really experiencing anything like that before. Um, my first semester here, I was pledging for a sorority. I was doing a bunch of new clubs. Um, computer science one is definitely not an easy class. Um, so I had a lot of stuff that I really had to figure out time management with. You know, like you have to prioritize. You know, not having your parent there making sure that you're doing all this stuff is just it's something to get used to. My advisor is Megan Fritz. She's awesome. I remember. I remember last semester when I was trying to schedule, well, I was just sitting back watching all my classes fill up and I was freaking out and I was emailing her, she's like, calm down, don't worry, get on the wait list, it'll be fine. And um, I ended up getting into all the classes I needed to. A lot of the classes cover three core ideas, confidentiality, integrity, and availability, and it's this balance of what you need to have in a security model. You need to be able to keep things confidential and you need to be able to maintain the integrity of data. But if no one can, if it's not available to anybody, nobody can use it, it has no value. So you have to blend those three um, different areas so that you can get a usable and secure product. Security, security is such a broad field, like you can go into so many different areas of it, whether you want to focus on code, you want to focus on networks, you want to focus on reverse engineering, and RIT's new program is at a point that it can allow for people to learn all of those things and get a taste for all of those things and then decide where they want to move forward in. Some of our faculty, you know, uh, take, take part in industry competitions. They help us organize our own competitions. There's a lot of work that they do side by side with students. But it goes one step further than that. You can't run a 64-bit operating system if... I, I create a fun atmosphere in my classes. I do a lot of jokes. I do a lot of analogies. It sets their mind at ease and makes them more receptive to learning technical concepts. He talks really fast, really loud, and really wants to get you to know things. A lot of the times when I take courses with Jonathan Wiseman, it uh, gets rewritten partially as we're going through it. The jobs that we're preparing students for are jobs that are needed in every industry. Every industry has data. Every industry needs to protect the data. Every industry will be susceptible to data breaches. So yesterday I was walking through Golisano and there were some people there and I was actually just there for the food and I stopped by and someone said like, hey, you know, are you interested in a job? And I was like, of course I am. And you know, whenever I think of a job interview, they ask you like, oh, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Like, let's see your resume. But they actually started asking me programming questions, asking me like, what's a polymorphism in Java? Or what is this and what is that? And I mean, I'm only in like week four of Java right now. So I really, I don't have the technical skills for that job yet, but it really goes to show that you know you really have to know your stuff. The reason we come to RIT to speak with students and really engage with them is we've got a track record of success. Um, we've had a lot of luck hiring great students from RIT, uh, and what we find with them is that they're ready. I'll be working at a company called Manning and Appear. Um, they're local here in Rochester. Um, they do financial investments and things like that, and I'll be on their corporate security team. And one of the reasons why I came to the school to begin with was the co-op program. Um, I feel like it's really valuable for students to get both some industry experience as well as the academic. And the, the caliber of students that RIT produces as a result of this is exactly what we're looking for for our new hires as we're looking for interns and full-time. You know, these students come out of here with great work experience and a great balance of both the academic and actually like being able to do this stuff in the real world. We're here at the Gordon Fieldhouse um, for the RIT Career Fair. There's well more than uh, 200 companies here. It's kind of funny looking at it. You know, just last year I was dressed up like so many of the other kids that are here looking for a co-op, and uh, I found my co-op for last summer. Last semester I was here again, and I found my full-time job. So it's pretty incredible.
how many companies are here and the opportunities that are here as well. The, my experience with the companies at the career fair are that there are three things they're looking for. One is obviously technical. Uh, they're looking for students who have a technical background and that they understand the importance of security and how things work. The second thing they're looking for is presence, the ability of a student to take all the knowledge they've got and communicate it to somebody. Well, hi, I'm, hi, I'm Dimitri. I'm a third year computing security, information security forensics so major. Uh, but the third thing is the tough one. The thing I find that employers are looking for is passion, uh, excitement. You can teach people about things and tools, you can give them experience, but you can't teach passion. And in some ways I'm jealous of the students nowadays because uh, they're in what I call the golden age of hacking.